Hello and welcome back to Automation. And today we're going to build a people mover. The Pegasus MPV for multiple, pur multiple purpose vehicle. Um, aluminum, monocoque. Should we do. What's it? Hmm. H A H S steel. Transverse, as it's going to be a front wheel drive car. Double wishbone, double wishbone. Yeah, that works. New project. Multi purpose. Actually, no. Utility. Engines. 2001 plus. Variant. 2000, that's not right, 2000, that's not right, 2001 MPV, create engine, uh, V6, make it smaller, hmm, how big can we make it, okay, No, no. Okay. Two liter engine. Aluminum. Overhead. Three. Let's just do that, yeah. Actually, we could do an inline six. Inline five, actually. Make it a bit more powerful. Three liter. Can we do that? Three liter. There we go. Aluminum. Billet. Eight, so lightweight forged and forged. It's supposed to be cheap, so don't need any of that. No turbo injection, and I have no idea where that's coming from. Alexa, stop. Sorry, don't know where that came from. Uh, single EFI or multi-point EFI. All well, about. Alright, let's just do multi-points. So there's no different uh, price range for that. And single standard. What's per cylinder look like? Oh, that looks weird. Single standard regular fuel. And for the exhaust, uh, tubular bypass valves. Reverse flow. Reverse flow. And right run smoothly. 161. Could do it 5,000 RPM. Bring it back to 160. Fuel mixture. 170 exactly. Okay. Uh, looks good and let's do that all right trim standard let's paint the car clay for the time being or well it's leather technically but I named it clay because it looks like clay thought it'd be a good idea all right drivetrain forward forward drive uh, engine length. Hmm. It's, okay. Oh, yeah. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. Let's keep the inline five, actually. Keep the chassis on it. Automatic five. Uh, material cost is cheapest. Alright, geared LSD. 
Radial hard long life. Solid disc, two piston. Uh, semi clad. Just do none. Boom, boom. Two fold down seats in the back, one row of seats in the middle, and two seats in the front. So it's seven in total. Standard, standard CD or cassette, yeah. Variable elect electronic, hydraulic, not electronic. And advanced 2000s. Uh, standard. Twin tube, passive. Um, dampeners. 46, 46. That works. Rear dampeners are hard, about 23. Uh, short gearing. How about 106? 114? 117? 119? Alright, 122. Oh, can't. Okay, how about. Oh, uh, it's estimated top speed is 147, so it could could go 147, I guess. Short gearing. All right, then we can lower this to 124. Rear brake brake force is low. Eight and eleven. Your brake force is very high. Okay, about seven. Brake show slight brake fade. Okay, how about eight again? That might work. Very high compared to grip. About one piston. Brake fade. Okay. Uh, have aerodynamics and increase brake flow all the way to hundred. Rear brake force is high, about back to seven. Very high, about back to six. No, okay, seven. I just keep it at nine. All right, bring this down to ten. Bound down to eight. And rear tires are wide. That's new. I'll keep it like that. Alright. Headlights and the building of the uh, designing of the engine car. Not engine. Keep saying that. You can wide, wide body it, but we won't do that. Make it longer. Ooh, that's ugly. Good. Make it even. All right. For the front, we shall do it's the 2001. If we could get away with these headlights, I guess. The other 01. So. Uh, change this to this. To make it look. Fogged up. And what is all that sound? I have no idea. Alright, let's keep it let's keep it standard like that. Okay, that works. Grill, actually we should put these forward a bit. Grill. Uh about this, does this work? Yeah, that works. Let's just do these. 
at the sides. And the license plate will go in the middle there. Headlight. We need the fog light. Can't be chrome. Let's do it plastic. Plastic. Actually, yeah, that's all right, plastic. And let's plastic that too. And for the tail light, tail end, we want. Let's try this. That works. And we can, uh, yeah, that works really well. And, okay, there's the front. Actually, we need the license plate. So, put that there. California, good old California. The indicator. We need a indicator on the side here. That works. Wonderful. Could put it up here. Make it. Let's try that. Yeah. That works. And then put this above right there. There's the indicators done. Grill, we don't really need anything there. The vent. We don't need any vents either. What about... Alright, let's do the body molding. Let's put this like that. There we go. Should do that in plastic. Yeah, I probably should. Plastic. So yeah, let's make that plastic since it's the standard base version. Window sunroof, we don't need one. Fuel cap, we definitely need a fuel cap. Let's try this one. Right above the indicator. There. Boom. Door handle. Let's try going 2000s with it. Center that. Does that look lined up? Maybe a bit higher. Okay, that works. Mirrors. Got some weird, funky looking mirrors. But there. But that won't work. We also have a couple of mirrors. Actually, these. Yeah, these work. Although those look a bit modern. Yeah, we're not gonna go with that. Uh. All right, let's try this. Nineties mirror. Okay, body molding, uh, nothing there, aerial, we could put a aerial up here, that works, we need the license plate for the back, so let's put this in it again, that sticks out way too much, about this, no that's the same thing, about this. That also sticks out, but what you gonna do? Probably just get rid of that then. License plate at the back. Rear bumper. Door handle. I guess we need to uh, make one for this then. Put that there. 
bumper bar, we don't need anything for the bumpers. But the badge, the Pegasus, so we need the Pegasus badge right there. And one right there. Exhaust tips. Just want the standard boom. Standard exhaust. Miscellaneous features. Just put a couple of roof bars on it. Ah, oh, that's what we need. Windshield wipers. I always forget to put those on my cars. Which ones? Should we do this one, this one, or this? Let's do this one. Make it longer. Boom. Copy it. Make that bit shorter. There we go. There's the windshield wipers. Anything else I'm missing? Not that I can think of. Let's just put the badge. Let's just put a badge on it or whatever. All right. Where's the M? M. P. V. MPV. There we go. Actually, we should probably just put some rims on it. Like this. Wait. Ooh. Those are cool. I could use those for another car. It's, I can't really think of anything. Put possibly put this. Put that on it. Yeah. Yeah, I could put this, no, stick with this. All right, let's paint it. Paint the wheels. Black, actually no, not chrome. No, silver, that works. My right, main body, let's paint it. White kind of works, what about, what about not shiny black? about dark red no plastic that's ugly green no I think we're gonna have to add a new color all right what color should we do it should we do it blue purple how about dark, dark purple that could work. Hmm. Uh, let's try red. Okay, red actually might work. How about orange? Yellow, dark yellow. No, that's ugly. Got this yellow. Okay, yellow might actually work. Let's do that. Let's name it yellow. Yellow. Save paint globally. Add it to the car. Plastic it all out. How about we do plastic for the rims? No, that makes it look ugly. Alright, the standard looks like it is completed. Let's just check everything. Brake force is high. I don't really care. Clearance, rear tires, clearance. Can't really do anything about the tires though. Could make it 200s. Okay. Rear tires are still wide. Okay, that works. And it's almost perfectly in the middle. Drivability 
point ninety six point seven percent. All right, let's check our markets. Markets. Ooh, seventeen miles to the gallon. All right, family premium. It's not a premium car. Why do I keep getting premium? It's not premium. All right, anyway, seventeen miles to the gallon. It's a lot of emissions. I've made cars like mission emissions of seventy or below before. 66% drivability, safety, comfort, sportiness, service costs. It costs 35 grand for the base mo okay. Well, that is in today's money, so. I guess. Whoa. Sorry, I'm just touching there. I will see you in a minute in BMNG. Alright, welcome to BMNG. And we are testing out our new Pegasus MPV. It's pretty sporty and fast. I mean, it can go. Okay, break, break, turn. Turns really well, too. Perfect for an off. The wheels are white. Gotta fix that, okay. Well, a lot of things are white because the exporter is broken for some reason. Although it could be the cache. I think it's the cache. My cache files that I need to delete. Probably, actually, now that I think of it. All that random crap. Alright. Driving it up to the school. Turn into the parking lot. And brake. Go a little further. There you go. This looks pretty cool. I know exactly what we're going to do with it for future videos. So this could be like our main series car, I guess. Ooh, nice J turn. Can do a, can, we can do a drift. Yeah, we can. It's really, really good. Actually, let's do drift. Oh, that's not good. It sort of can do wheels, actually. I did wheel spin like a minute ago before I started recording, so I don't know what happened. But, if you turn here and go to Red's locally grown restaurant and turn and boom. Order our food. I guess you would normally do. Yeah, it turns really well. Has a great turning circle. Perfect for the urban family, I guess, of 2001. When minivans were all the rage. Minivans are actually quite practical compared to like SUVs and stuff. Because you can fit more people in it in like a standard sized minivan but in the SUV they only have like two rows of seats unless you get like a super big like large expensive SUV that's like an extended wheelbase version yeah alright I'm gonna go take it around the track and I will see you then Okay, welcome back to automation or BMNG. Uh, we're on the track and we're gonna be testing out the new MPV. Well, not new, from 2001. The MPV that we made, or I made. Alright, floor it. And go. Okay, we're off to a good start. 53. Before we have to turn. 
The front tires are actually bigger than the rear ones, if you didn't know. That's the way I designed this car. It's a bit weird, I know. But it helps steer it really well. Can brake. 60 around the corner, brake, get down to 30. Okay. Floor again, and then brake. Oh, didn't turn early enough. And then floor down the straight. And 88, 90, 100, 110. Break, 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 break. Okay, remind me to never go down that turn that fast again. Break at the 250 mark. Slow down. Slow even more. And that's the best I've ever gone through that corner. And break. Oop, bit off the track there. Turn. Go as fast as possible through this thing, sector, whatever. Break. Break more. And then we can break more again. Turn. And we're on the home straight. Break again for the flying lap now. And actually, this car is not that much slower on the first lap than the, uh, it's about half a second faster than the touring car that we made. Alright. 50, 60, break, break, some more, corner cut, floor it again, lift off the throttle, brake lightly, that didn't sound good. Oop, three seconds faster, that's good. Okay, 100, 110, brake, close to that, okay, brake some more, uh oh, we're going off the track a little bit. That's okay. Two seconds better on that sector. So even though we went off the track, we still gained some time. Alright, brake on this corner. Ooh. Okay.
and keep the inside line and break. There we go. Coming up to the final corners here. Break some more. Oh, we're off the track a bit. And on to the final turn. And flooring it, flooring it, flooring it. Two, three, four. And we are two seconds better. Alright, cool. That will be it for today's video. And goodbye.